So in order to create a new Azure DNS zone with PowerShell, the first thing we're going to need to do is connect to our Azure account using the connect Azure RM account commandlet, which I've already done in this case. And then I'm going to create a new resource group to put this DNS zone in. And I'm going to use the new Azure RM resource group commandlet in order to do that. And now that we've got the resource group, we can use the new Azure RM DNS zone commandlet to create the new zone. We need to give it the name of the zone and the resource group that we've just created. So that takes a couple of seconds and comes back with the details of the zone that it's just created. And you'll notice at the bottom here, we've got name servers. So that's the name servers that will resolve this domain in Azure. And if we need to, we can use the get Azure RM DNS zone commandlet in order to get the details of the zones that we have already provisioned. So we've only got one zone here, so it just returns that one zone that we just created. And we can use the get Azure RM DNS record set for that domain in order to return the records that are configured under that domain. So we should just have two records configured, the two defaults that come with every domain. So in order to create a new record for that uh, domain, we can use the new Azure RM DNS record set commandlet and feed it the details like the name of the record, the record type, the zone, which we've just created, the domain.com zone, the resource group, etc. But if we scroll over to the right here slightly, we'll see that under the DNS records parameter, we need to use the new Azure RM DNS records config commandlet in order to give it the IP address for this record. So if we run that command, and then run the line 10 here as well to get the details of that record that it's just created. If we scroll up one second here, we'll see that we've got a www record under that domain.com. So if we go to a command prompt and do an NS lookup against that domain using the servers that were specified within that config, it should return the record www.domain.com on the address 10.10.10.10. And you'll notice that if we remove one of the Ws from the domain name here and try and do the NS lookup again, it doesn't resolve because that record doesn't exist. So if we go back to our PowerShell code and we can create a CNAME for that record. So if I remove one of the Ws, change the record type to CNAME and change the new Azure RM DNS record config in order to create a CNAME and run that whole command, it should create a new record for us. So if we go back to our command line and run that NS lookup again, we'll see that that resolves. Now, if we want to remove that record, we can use the remove Azure RM DNS record commandlet with the name of the record and the record type, etc., And it should remove that record for us. So if we run that line and then go back to line 10 here to list out all of the records that are available for that domain. We'll see that we've still got the www record but no records for the, just, just the WW. So if we go back to our command line just to prove the point, rerun that NS lookup, we'll see that that doesn't resolve. And the last thing to do, if we want to remove the whole zone, we can use the remove Azure RM DNS zone with the name of the zone and the resource group, and that should remove the whole zone with all the records. And once that's returned, if we run the get Azure RM DNS zone line again, we'll see that we get nothing returned because that zone has now been deleted. Thanks for watching.